This book is called Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell, and it's written by Sue Hendra. I have permission to read this book to you from Scholastic. Here's the title page. Norman the Slug with the Silly Shell by Sue Hendra. And since it just says by Sue Hendra, she must be the author and the illustrator, meaning she wrote the words and drew the pictures. Norman the Slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. There's Norman. The snails. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. We crash. Norman, you silly slug, they cried. You've spoiled our fun. This only works if you've got a shell. Norman felt left out. Sadly, he skulked off into the moonlight. Poor Norman. If only I had a shell of my own, he sighed, looking at his reflection. And that's when he had an idea. Maybe I could have a shell after all, he thought. See how his reflection looks like he has a shell? Mm. But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy. One was too noisy. And one was already taken. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell! It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail. Now he's part of their pyramid. And the snails loved Norman's silly shell. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly there was a loud flapping of wings. Look out, bird, cried the snails in a panic. Quick, slither for your lives or we'll end up as supper. But the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked delicious. Norman was being carried up up and away, higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Ooh. Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime, lots and lots of it. With a slither and a slother, a slip and a slide, Norman was free. Uh oh. But he was falling faster and faster and faster until. Oh, plonk! There he is. Norman? Norman, are you okay? asked the snails. Wow! said Norman. That was great! I love flying! If only I had wings. Uh oh. Ta da! That is 
Miss Silly.